Hallo, Frau Ostern. Heute Studenten feiern mit Bonbons, Schokolade und Eier. Zuerst bekommen sie ein Ei. Dann stoßen sie ein Loch in das Ei. Wenn es ist leer, sie schmücken. Sie können das Ei zeichnen oder malen. So viel Spaß! Und das ist alles. Tschüssi! From the President of the United States, it is with a heavy heart and somber mind that we remember and honor the victims, survivors, and the heroes of the Holocaust. It is impossible to fully fathom the depravity and horror inflicted on innocent people by Nazi terror. Yet, we know that in the darkest hours of humanity, light shines the brightest. As we remember those who died, we are deeply grateful to those who risked their lives to save the innocent. The United States Holocaust Memorial Museum defines the Holocaust as the systematic, bureaucratic, state-sponsored persecution and murder of six million Jews by the Nazi regime and its collaborators. Holocaust is a word of Greek origin meaning sacrifice by fire. The Nazis who came to power in Germany in January 1933 believed that Germans were racially superior and that the Jews deemed inferior and were an alien threat to the so-called German racial community. During the era of the Holocaust, German authorities also targeted other groups because of their perceived racial inferiority. Roma, Gypsies, the disabled, and some of the Slavic peoples, Poles, Russians, and others. Other groups were persecuted on political ideology and behavioral grounds, among them communists, socialists, Jehovah's Witnesses, and homosexuals. April is Holocaust Remembrance Month and the Diversity Club wants to share some stories of tragedy and triumph. Look down the halls of THS and you will see the stories of seven victims of the Holocaust. Each hallway tells a different story. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and here are your afternoon announcements. Congratulations to Marshall Mesmer and James Bird, who lifted in the High School National Powerlifting Championships in Scranton, Pennsylvania on April 2nd. James Bird finished in 11th place in the 100 kg weight class, and Marshall Mesmer placed first and became the U.S. champion at the 105 kg weight class. Marshall will be lifting in Orlando, Florida on May 19th, where he will be competing to make the world's team along with former teammate Josh Pierdot. Prom tickets are on sale now for $35 in the main office. Don't forget to sign up for Grand March too, as no signups will be accepted after 3.30 today. Prom picture order forms will be available in the main office. There are a limited number of yearbooks left for $55. If interested, please see Mr. Kibbe as soon as possible. Interact is partnering with the Toma Lions Club by collecting old glasses, phones, or hearing aids to recycle and distribute to low-income communities around the world. If you have any of these items, please drop them off in the container in the main office. There will be a CSI camp June 19th through the 21st at the Marion University campus for this year's juniors and seniors. If you are interested, stop the reception office for more information. Help wanted at Titanic Canoe Rental in, or in Ontario, Wisconsin. Seniors need a summer job. For more information, stop at the reception office. Juniors Youth Leadership Congress, sponsored by Oakdale Electric Cooperative, will be held on the UW River Falls campus from July 26th to the 28th. This dynamic group program is by Teens for Teens Cooperative Leadership Conference that is planned and developed by the youth board elected at the previous year's event. Upon completion of the Leadership Congress, you may qualify for local and state scholarships. Stop in the counseling office for more information. Applications will be, must be completed and returned to the counseling office by April 28th. Varsity Baseball lost to Central 1-0 to, Thursday night. Connor Prelip threw six innings, al allowing three hits. Toma JV won their game versus Central 13-3 in six innings by the run rule. Tyler Torkinson, Torken threw a CG and went 3-3 three three at the plate. 
Congratulations to our varsity tennis players, Jared Scouten, Nate Benner, Luke Rekoleski, and Evan Lord, and JV tennis players, Noah Gielik and Cody Huff, for earning match wins over Reedsburg last night. Thank you, everyone, and have a great spring break.